Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about KuCoin, one of the highly successful cryptocurrency exchanges of recent times. KuCoin is a rapidly growing cryptocurrency exchange that is developing its ecosystem with internal projects. This exchange has its own token called KCS, which currently has a value of around $6. Let's take a look at its chart. In its chart, we can see that there are times when its value is much higher than the current value. I have previously explained the importance of exchanges having their own tokens in my previous videos. When exchanges have their own tokens, their projects and ecosystems grow faster. KuCoin is one of the rapidly growing cryptocurrency exchanges and may become a direct competitor to Binance in the future. Now let's get into KuCoin. If you don't have an account, you can use the discounted link below the video. I recommend doing this because it will allow you to pay lower fees for your transactions. When you click on the link below the video, you will see this screen. My referral code is here. You can sign up by entering your email or phone number. After logging into the site, go to the identity verification section first. Here, it will ask you to take a photo of your ID card and a selfie. Identity verification is important for the security of your account. I strongly recommend doing this. If you go to the account security section, you can add your phone number or email address. You also need to use this tab to change your password. Now let's look at our assets. In KuCoin, unlike other exchanges, there are different wallet accounts. The funding account is your main account. If you want to send crypto to any address or give your crypto address to someone, you need to use your funding account. But if you want to trade within KuCoin, you need to use your trading account. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to my funding account by clicking on assets. I have Algo and USDT in my wallet. Let's say I want my friend to send me USDT. What I need to do is click on the deposit option next to USDT. I clicked it. And now I need to choose the network. Please choose the network carefully. I am selecting the TRX network for low fees. Here is my address. Now I can copy this address and send it to my friend. OK, I am back to my wallet. If I want to send USDT to someone, I need to use withdraw option. I click on withdraw. I want to send USDT. I will paste the address I want to send to here. And now I choose the network either TRC20 or TRX. And I need to enter the amount. Now I am ready to withdraw. When I click this button, KuCoin will ask me for email and phone verification. After confirming them, the crypto I sent will reach the address within 5 or 10 minutes. Now I am back to my funding account. Here there is the earn option. This is one of KuCoin's activities. You can deposit your funds here, select different time periods and earn interest. There are detailed explanations about this below. It would be helpful to read them. Now let's do some trading. I entered my funding account again. Here, using the transfer button, I will send the money to my trading account. I clicked it. Yes, from my funding account to my trading account. I can swap their positions using these arrows. Okay, also, by using this section, you can select any coin. I will send USDT. I clicked on maximum and I confirm it. Yes. Now the money is gone from my funding account. Look here, 0 USDT. Because my USDT is now in my trading account. I'm selecting my trading account here. And I see that I have USDT in it. There are no deposit and withdraw options in my trading account. There are only two options here, transfer and trade. I want to trade and I will take some mana queen. I clicked on trade, but I don't see the mana USDT pair here. No problem, I can select mana later. I click on any pair, and I enter the trading screen. Now in the top left corner, I can start trading mana USDT by typing it. I will add it to my favorites. Done. Now we are in the mana USDT trading screen. 
When you first enter the trading screen, you will need to set a trading password. This password should be six digits and you will use it for your trades. Please remember this password and make sure to write it down. Okay, let's continue. We have the eight hour charts of MANA here. In the tab here, you can select different time frames. On the left side, there are technical analysis tools. I will explain them in more detail in another video. Yeah, in the evo text, we see the lowest and highest price of MANA coin within 24 hours. Let's look at the right side. The red color represents sellers and the green color represents buyers. These offers come together in the middle and determine the price of MANA. First, I will trade using the limit option. Let's look at the price chart. I want to buy MANA at the most favorable price by using my 25% of funds. I collect here. Yes, I successfully bought MANA. Look here, there is a trade history. It contains all the details about the trade I just made, like price and like amount. What if I offer a more favorable price? Currently, you can see MANA's price right in the middle. I will offer a price much lower than this. I entered a low price and I'm using my 25% of funds. Okay. Pay attention. I couldn't buy MANA. I just placed an order and my offer is visible in the open order section. This order will only be completed when the price of MANA reaches the price I specified. So you can use this for long term purposes. But I am cancelling my offer by clicking this button. Now I will use the market order. I select it. In market orders, you don't need to select a price because the price is fixed. If you place an order, it will be immediately accepted. I am going to make a maximum purchase. Yes. It worked immediately. Let's see how the stop limit works. I have mana quits. If mana's price drops significantly, I may want to stop my losses. Currently, the price of mana is 37 cents. I am entering 29 cents here. And I am entering 18 cents below. This means that when mana reaches the upper price, an order will be created based on the lower price. For this order to work, the price of mana must drop at least until 18 cents. Otherwise, the order won't be executed. Also, the range between these two prices is important. If you have a large amount of cryptocurrency and the range between these two prices is very little, your offer may not be executed because there may not be any offers in that range. Pay attention to this, especially during times when prices drop rapidly. Let's go to the homepage. Yes, now you know the assets section. Here you can view your orders and check your order history. You can also change the language. On the left side, there are different menus. In the first menu, there are deposit options. If you don't want to send cryptocurrency to your KuCoin account and prefer to deposit money in another way, you can use this section. There are options to deposit with a credit card or cash. There is also P2P. Okay, in the market menu, you can check the prices of coins. I added Bitcoin, Ethereum, and BNB coins to my favorites below. And I can quickly check their prices using the favorites tab. I want to add mana to this section. Yeah, it's done. You can enter the trading screen using this tab. I will explain margin and futures trading later. In the earn section, there is a landing feature. Here you can land and earn interest by using specific interest rates and time periods. People who prefer to hold large amounts of funds in their accounts and those considering long-term investments usually do this. On the right side, there is a list of lenders with interest rates and terms. If you want, you can also borrow funds. KuCoin offers really nice options. For example, by holding KCS tokens in your account, you can reduce the trading fees. This proves why KuCoin is so important. Because everyone keeps KCS tokens in their account to pay lower fees for their trades. This helps KCS tokens maintain its value. 
The same mechanism exists in the Binance exchange. In the Earn section, there is many options for investment and staking. I will explain them in my other videos. I think that's enough for now. In this video, I gave you a basic explanation of the KuCoin exchange. I hope it helps you. My videos will continue. Stay tuned. See you in my next video.